ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ക്യൂരിയസ് വിത്ത് ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ മോഹ്സിന ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് കോക്സിഡിയോയിഡോ മൈക്കോസിസ് ദ ഫോർത്ത് സിസ്റ്റമിക് മൈക്കോട്ടിക് കണ്ടീഷൻ സോ വി ഓൾറെഡി ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് ബ്ലാസ്റ്റോ മൈക്കോസിസ് ക്രിപ്റ്റോകോക്കോസിസ് ദെൻ ഹിസ്റ്റോ പ്ലാസ്മോസിസ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഫോർത്ത് വീഡിയോ ഇൻ ദ പ്ലേലിസ് സിസ്റ്റമിക് മൈക്കോസിസ് സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ബിഗിൻ വിത്ത് കോക്സിഡോയിഡോ മൈക്കോസിസ് കോക്സിഡിയോയിഡോ മൈക്കോസിസ് ഓർ വാലി ഫീവർ ഈസ് എ ഡസ് ബോൺ നോൺ കണ്ടേജിയസ് ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ കോസ് ബൈ ദ ഡയമോഫിക് ഫംഗസ് കോക്സിഡിയോയിഡസ് ഇമൈറ്റസ് ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻസ് ആർ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ടു ആരിഡ് ആൻഡ് സെമി ആരിഡ് റീജിയൻസ് ഓഫ് സൗത്ത് വെസ്റ്റേൺ യു എസ് ആൻഡ് ടു സിമിലർ ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് മെക്സിക്കോ സെൻട്രൽ ആൻഡ് സൗത്ത് അമേരിക്ക ഓൾ ദോ മെനി സ്പീഷീസ് ഓഫ് ആനിമൽസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് പീപ്പിൾ ആർ സസെപ്റ്റബിൾ ഡോഗ്സ് ആർ ദ മോസ്റ്റ് സസെപ്റ്റബിൾ സ്പീഷീസ് placental infection leading to abortion and osteomyelitis have been described in horses but in ruminants and pig it encounters subclinical infections with lesions restricted to foci in the lungs and to thoracic lymph nodes Inhalation of fungal spores is the only established mode of infection and spores may be carried on dust particles. Epidemics may occur when rainy periods are followed by drought resulting in dust storms. Most bovine infections are contracted in dusty feedlots. so this is uh, the life cycle of uh, this uh, coccidioidum uh, mycosis you can see the uh, alternating uh, cell atrophy in the de- dry desert top soil and airborne androconidia it enter the lung of dog because of inhalation and they go to the terminal nodule and uh, it will cause lung infection mainly clinical findings and lesions the disease varies from inapparent in cattle sheep pigs dogs and cats to progressive disseminated and fatal in dogs non human primates cats and people and coccidioidal mycosis is primarily a respiratory disease that ranges from self limiting to chronic infections dissemination occurs in approximately 20% of canine infections with many tissues especially eyes joints and bone affected clinical signs can vary greatly depending on organ involvement and severity of infection this is the fungal hyphae dogs with disseminated disease may have chronic cough anorexia cachexia lameness enlarged joints fever intermittent diarrhea dissemination to the skin with draining ulceration may occur but primary infection through the skin is rare in these pictures you can see dissemination uh, to the skin uh, in dog uh, in the face you can see ulcerating nodules and draining skin lesions of limb are also seen here now coming to the skin uh, main uh, clinical signs in cats cats infected with c imitis most often present with dermatologic signs like draining skin lesion and subcutaneous granulomatous masses as seen in this picture and abscesses and also other signs like fever inappetence and weight loss can be seen Less common clinical signs in cats include respiratory signs like dyspnea, musculoskeletal signs like lameness, neurologic and ophthalmologic abnormalities. Approximately 50% of infected cats appear to have disseminated disease. Now let's see the lesions. Gross lesions may be limited to lungs, mediastinum, thoracic lymph nodes or may be disseminated to various organs.
They consist of discrete variable size nodules with a firm grey white cut surface resembling those of tuberculosis. The nodules are pyogranulomas composed of epithelioid and giant cells and the center of some foci may present purulent exudate and fungal organisms. Some lesions may have mineralized foci. Coming to the diagnosis, in endemic areas coccidioidomycosis should be considered in dogs with chronic bronchopulmonary disease when pulmonary nodules and enlarged lymph nodes are found on thoracic radiograph. The lesions are pyogranulomas that contain C. imitis free in the exudate and in epithelioid and multinucleate giant cells. So this is a radiograph, a lateral projection in a 7 year old poodle having coccidioidomycosis. You can see the abnormal appearance of the lungs here. There is diffuse interstitial pattern. This is another more clear x-ray. Lateral chest radiograph on a dog with coccidioidomycosis. This appearance is called snowstorm appearance of the lungs. The organisms vary in size and appear as relatively large 20 to 80 micrometer up to 200 micrometer spherules with a double contoured wall. The mature spherules or sporangia contain endospores called sporangiospores having 2 to 5 micrometer in diameter. Diagnosis is established by demonstrating the spherules in tissues. So this is a coccidioidus imitis mature spherule. It is a potassium hydroxide wet mount in high power. It is having a double condoed wall. The spherule have sporangia inside. This is another picture of lung tissue wet mount showing a spherule of coccidioides imitis containing numerous endospores. See the double wall. Serum can also be tested by agar gel immunodiffusion assays for detection of precipitin and complement fixing antibodies. Currently, most commercial laboratories run AGID assays for IgG and IgM antibodies. Result of these assays are specific but relatively insensitive. An enzyme immunoassay for coccidioides, galactomannan antigen useful in human infections have been proven not so useful in dogs. A presumptive diagnosis can be made when serology is positive in an animal with consistent clinical signs. Attempts to culture the fungus should be restricted to those laboratories equipped to handle such dangerously infective cultures. Now let's move on to the last part that is treatment. Disease is often self-limiting. If chronic respiratory signs or multisystemic disease are present, long-term antifungal therapy is needed. With, systemic, uh, with uh, disseminated infection, treatment of at least 6 to 12 months is typical. Fluconazole is the most commonly used drug to, dis, uh, to treat disseminated or chronic respiratory infections. Also ketoconazole and itraconazole are commonly used to treat uh, dogs with coccidioidomycosis. They are more expensive and have high incidence of adverse effects than fluconazole. Amphotericin B may be the most effective antifungal drug, but it is highly nephrotoxic. It may be indicated in animals that either do not improve with the previous therapies mentioned or are unable to tolerate the azole antifungals. So 
so that's all about coccidio coccidoidomycosis caused by coccidio coccidioides immitis so this disease is uh, very important in dogs other than any other sp species so this is the fourth a systemic mycotic condition uh, as we discussed uh, before so if the video is informative please like it and share it with your friends if you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video see you soon with another video thank you